Hey everybody! My eyes are not on the camera right now because I am driving. I'm not going to have time to record the whole video because I am on my way to see Dragon Ball Super Broly Movie. Obviously not the title, I'm just saying the Broly Movie. I'm so excited. Um, can't wait to see it. And there's a lot of traffic. Uh, but Kevin, I don't care if you specifically told me not to tell you to get The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild because you should get The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You don't need to have a nostalgia trip to get it. It's just good. Oh, and uh, roll the intro. Alright, so, you chose Jackal. Is it Jackal? Is it Jackal? 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 Is it Jackal? Is it Jackal? And, uh, you know, Kev, if it wasn't right the first time, it wouldn't have been right all the other times. But, yeah, Jackal is a pretty pointless villain. Uh, personally, if we're talking character-wise, Venom. Venom, for me, is the penultimate Spider-Man villain. Just that whole arc and everything. I mean, in the animated series, that arc was amazing, but also in the spectacular Spider-Man series, oh, that arc was so good. Because there was more build to it. Because Eddie Brock was his friend from the start of it, so... He wasn't just a character that came in, you know. There was actual build, there's build up behind it. But, if we are talking about costume wise, I absolutely love the Shocker. Shocker's costume to me, like comic book costume to me, is so cool. I don't know why, I've always liked it. I just saw someone's license plate that sort of looked like Tony Hawk Pro Skate, like Tony Hawk, that looked like it spelled Tony Hawk. Uh, so now I'm just thinking of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. That was a really fun game. And that, they, those games always had the best soundtrack. I listen to a lot of those songs today. You know, Sum 41, Goldfinger, Superman by Goldfinger. Here I am, doing everything I can. Holding on to what I am. Pretending I'm a Superman. I'm trying to keep the ground on my feet, feel the world falling down around me. I gotta sing in every video. I love singing. It is really hot in here. I gotta turn the heat off. Uh, I also need to get some gas. But I'm gonna do that after the movie. Not the question of the day. But do you ever look at people's license plates and just be like, oh yeah, that looks like it could read something. It looks like a word. I can't use English. <laughs> also, I really like looking at people's bumper stickers. This guy's got like a some sort of Brahma Bull logo on it. I don't remember what it's for, but and then an M that I'm pretty sure is like Mammoth or something. But it, it always reminds me of the Monsters Inc. font. So I watched your video yesterday, and I'm not really remembering everything. I didn't rewatch it. I usually rewatch your video before I make my video, so I get deep talking points. But today's been such a busy day. Uh, I haven't been, in, and obviously I'm driving right now. Um, I'm sorry for the uh, the tilted camera a lot. It's wedged in my steering wheel, <laughs> so you're just gonna have to deal with that for this video. Question of the day. Well, I have to answer your question of the day. What distinguishing quality is there between us? You know, I can't say there's like a crazy distinguishing quality. Uh, when we grew up, we liked a lot of the same things. Uh, we always liked Transformers, Dragon Ball Z, video games, this, that, this, that. We liked all of those things. Uh, maybe the thing, the two things that, that separate us the most are probably sports 
and cars. Now, sports, I, you know, I, I can I can watch a Super Bowl. I can watch a football game. I'll, I'll get enjoyment out of it. It's just like, doesn't, you know, it doesn't, I've talked about this before. It doesn't really do anything for me. But what really doesn't do anything for me are cars. Unless it's the Batmobile. Then the Batmobile is awesome. But when it comes to, like, crazy foreign cars or, or really sick-looking, uh, like, cars, I'm sure you can name all the parts to a car, all the crazy expensive models, this, that, this, that, and it just, it's not a thing I care about. Racing games, unless it's Mario Kart, just don't care about it. Uh, things like, I, I felt like that was probably always a distinguishing quality between us, because you were always really into cars, you know, your friends, uh, your other friend group's always into cars, your one friend has some sort of Subaru with, like, what is it, Seahawk colors on it? Is he a Seahawks fan? But yeah, I mean, I'm maybe I'm just not thinking of something right now. How about you? What do you think, what do you think our, our differentiating quality is? Now, my question of the day. I'm fighting between two questions of the day because I had one in mind and then I had another one in mind when I was making this video. So I think I'm gonna go with the one that's more on topic and I'll save the other one for Monday's video unless something else pops into my head. But as I said earlier, I am going to see the Broly movie. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super. I love all of them. We used to play with the toys all the time. Remember when I got that Goku that you could change the heads like Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3. And we were playing outside on my porch. And I, I used Frieza's tail to like grab his neck and throw him and then the head popped off along with the peg. <sighs> that stunk. I loved that toy. Anyway, Dragon Ball Z. Do you remember that feeling coming home every day? Just flipping on Toonami and watching some Dragon Ball Z. What was your favorite saga of Dragon Ball Z? Why did you like it? For our viewers out there, same question. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, what was your favorite? Why did you like it? Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Share it. Kevin made a good point, that share button's just two buttons away from the, the thumbs up button, so you're right there. If you can't live without the 90s guys, subscribe. If it's your first time on the channel and you like what you see in this video, also subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at 90sGuyTom. You can follow Kevin on Twitter at 90sGuyKev. You can follow both of us on Instagram at the90sGuys. Go figure. Go figure, this guy doesn't know how to drive. All right, everybody, hopefully next video I make, I won't have to be driving. I was in the right lane for the longest time. I should have not been. Probably would have been to the theater by this point. But anyway, you'll see me next time.